Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Averin Lefebvre, and in this video, we're gonna be reviewing the Nidecker Alpha APX. This board features Nidecker's Surfy Cam Rocker, which gives you rocker in the tips, camber through the midsection. Now that camber through the midsection is gonna give you all the load pop, snap, and drive of this board, while that rocker in the tips is gonna give you ease entry in and out of turns, as well as more optimal powder float. This board is available in 153, 158, and 162 wide. I rode this board at Ski Cooper on a gray sky day that had average to below average temps, five inches of wind loaded pow, chopped chunder, little bit of corduroy and spot, and a lot of ruts, and I rode it with my Rome black label bindings and my K2 Thraxxus boots. This board is slightly stiffer than the regular Alpha, but not by much, it still sits in that realm of middle of the road. What you do get is more play in the tips, stiffer midsection with a noticeable amount of torsional flex. Now, one thing to say about this board is the tips do get a little chattery and that reverberates back underfoot. So you can feel those micro vibrations. When you get into more rutted out terrain, for the most part, it will plow through everything. But if you hit something super rock hard, be prepared to get bucked. This board will just fold Otherwise, it's actually a fairly smooth ride. There's a predictable level of pop out of this board. You load up that camber section, roll back on the tail, engage that rocker section, and it snaps. It's not the snappiest thing out there, it's not mind blowing, but it's just consistent and it gets the job done. Now, as I was at Ski Cooper, there weren't any jumps to actually hit. Would I hesitate to hit jumps with this thing? No, not at all, small, medium, large. I'm pretty sure it would be able to handle them all. So when it comes to buttering on this board, if you know how to butter, you're gonna be fine. If you don't, well, you might have some issues. You do have that longer rocker section in the nose. So when you pop a 180, it's like a spatula. It really is easy to engage. It locks in and it holds, and you're able to get a little bit of spring. With the tail, it's easier to sit on this just due to the length of the board with the setback. So you can really press into it, get sideways, get a little weird. Now, when it comes to jibbing, I ran over a stump. That was the equivalent of jibbing that I did on this board as Ski Cooper doesn't have a park. Think of it like buttering. It's gonna be able to press, it's gonna be able to do what you need it to do, but by and large, it's not ideally what it's made for. It can just sort of handle it. The edge to edge on this board is a little slow. It's not a sloth, but it's not as quick and nimble as other boards in the Nidecker lineup. The big strong suit with this board is medium mellow carves. It just locks in and lets you swoop in and out without being too aggressive. Now, short, tight, quick carves, it gets the job done, but it's nothing mind blowing. It's kind of meh, you're like, uh, torsionally twisted and let me ankle steer. And deep, hard, aggressive carves, it basically hits a wall and won't let you push it any further and it starts to kick out. It's just those medium mellow carves are on point with it. Who's this board for? The all mountain rider that mixes it up with a little bit more of a POW focus. So if I was to go with a more freestyle focused board from Nidecker, I'd go with the Gamma Series over the Alpha. That board, the Gamma Series, is definitely more freestyle focused. I mean, it's an asymmetrical twin. This, in my opinion, is a little more free ride focused and it works for what it is. It's not a bad board. It's not something that super stands out to me where I'm like, oh my God, I gotta have it. It's just a board you can get on and it's consistent. Comparable boards, the Yes Hybrid, the Ride Berserker, the Amplid Singular. Binding recommendations, the Nidecker Kon X, the Rome DoD, the Union Atlas. This has been my review of the Nidecker Alpha APX. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you own one? Are you gonna buy one? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this snowboard. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not missing any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you really like what we're doing over here and you wanna support us further, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP and become a member. Sure, I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Averin Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video. Mm -hmm.